As Ms. Sacramento says, they need still to look at it in detail, but a suggestion there that the government may be looking to Aquajib when the time comes to foot the bill. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I, I would concur with Minister Sacramento's comments. Uh, right now, we are focusing on restoring supply to Gibraltar and, and the public. That is the focus. Um, we will need to sit and look at you know, the insurance and, and everything else that comes in as, as part of a significant event in a business. But um, that, that will, will happen uh, once everybody's got water and, and we're back to that point. So. OK, well, uh, we've all been learning a bit about Gibraltar's water supply in the last few days. We've got uh, a series of graphics that can hopefully help illustrate the matter. So please correct me along the way if I get any of this wrong. But water is first collected from the sea in the area of Little Bay. This seawater is then transported um, via some reservoirs to the reverse osmosis plant at Governor's Cottage, where salt is removed. An average of 5 million litres a day is produced. Uh, water is then pumped to... 15 reservoirs capable of storing 70 million litres, which, as per Aquajib's sustainability report, allows continual supply irrespective of production interruptions. Once stored water is analysed, quality validated at various locations, desalinated water is then pumped to, station, uh, to a station up the rock and fresh water is finally piped downhill with gravity, pushing it through our distribution system into our homes, out of our taps. What went wrong in the briefest of terms? Um, I mean, there, there, is, there is a second seawater intake, the five and a half million that we produce on a, on a daily basis. Also, some of that comes from the waterport area, which mm. also goes to the top of the rock. Um, what went wrong was a significantly unexpected exceptional event of somebody setting fire to whatever happened in the tunnels. And, and I, I say set, set fire because I'm assuming it was, it was, it was a an arson event, I, I don't know that for a fact. Um, and the, the reality is that the saltwater pipe providing uh, salt water to the RO was compromised as a result of that. Mm. So. I think the question to ask is how reasonable an expectation might it have been that something would go wrong and what preemptive measures were taken. Uh, one mention, and, and we are quoting the, the, um, well, the sustainability report published, that it's, we, a 70 million litre reserve would allow continual supply irrespective of production interruptions. Production was very much interrupted. You did mention to, uh, over the weekend to my colleague Jonathan Scott that there was very high usage over summer, but this two-week sort of window has turned out to be somewhat inaccurate. So what went wrong there? I mean, you know, in, in our sustainability report, we will always um, state the maximum that we have. Um, at the start of the year, we had 70 million litres. Um, it's not unusual for us to be at the level we were at um, at this time of the year. I, I don't think it's, it's, it's particularly unusual. Um, it, 2022 has been exceptional. Um, there, there has been a lot more consumption than, than normal, but we have worked very hard to maintain, to maintain levels. And I, and I think where we were on Thursday when it all went wrong, or Wednesday when it all went wrong, um, is... Tuesday, wasn't it? I think. Well, Tuesday well. was the fire. Um, uh, obviously, I think our, our RO plant stopped at the um, yeah. middle of the day on Wednesday. So, so um, from, that's our timeline, if you like. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's unusual, the level of stock. I just think yeah. that it's a very unusual event. Make, you make a point there that um, until Wednesday, when it came closer to it, it didn't, it didn't begin on Aquajib pro property, didn't begin on, at your plant or under your watch, as, as it were. The, I mean, the vulnerability of our water supply has been highlighted now, although the infrastructure that you depend on is that of a government facility. So have you ever raised concerns about the potential point of failure that turned out to be accurate or the, the general security in the area, <clears throat> given that it's not fully under your control? I, I mean, we have some 220 kilometres of pipe running all around Gibraltar. Some of those are in our own controlled facilities, most are in public areas, some are above ground and less safe than others that are below ground. Um, we will not have checked every single metre and, and made representations to, to people in, in, that, in that kind of manner. It's, it's not the way we would do it. Um, was this particular section not particularly vulnerable, 
given that it was, you know, electricity cables one way feeding the, the station and water coming along the same stretch? There are, there are areas in Gibraltar that, I mean, there is, a, there is a section that runs through MOD tunnels which carries the water from the RO plant to the, to the top of the rock. So, so there, there are critical pipes everywhere. Um, we, we have a very interlinked network, so it, it does make it very difficult to protect every single, every single metre. But, um, you know, this was, this was an unforeseen event. We didn't really see it coming, and, and that's, that's, that's where we are, unfortunately. And finally, Ms Sacramento points out an inquiry is underway. Are there any aspects of this matter in particular which you would like to see investigated? Anything that you think raises particular questions? At, at this point, I think um, we need to sit down and do an autopsy of what's happened. Um, there are always things to learn. There are all thi always things that could have been done better. Um, my team, the, the, the teams that we work with at government, we will, we will sit down and analyse all of this um, and find out you know, what we needed to do better. And we will do better in the future because ultimately we do not want anybody to, to, to not have water supply.